Welcome back to the channel, my friends, and welcome to 2021. Wait, am I saying that right? 2021? Yeah, that seems about right. Anyways, a lot of people are wondering why their cross-site scripting attacks aren't working. Well, my friends, the real question you should be asking yourselves is, did you check the content security policy on the site that you're hacking on? If not, you're in luck because in this video, we're gonna go over what the CSP is, how it works, and how it's preventing you from obtaining that sweet and precious bug bounty reward. So if you're new to the channel, grab something to eat, grab something to drink, grab a chair, and let's expose some secrets. All right, guys, let's open up command prompt. And we're gonna do a curl dash I, or we can do a curl dash dash head. And let's go out to the website that we wanna look for headers on. We'll hit enter. And as you can see, this website doesn't have a CSP in place. And it also has cross-site scripting protection turned off. So let's go over to this site and see what we can do with it. So here we are on Troy Hunt's vulnerable website for CTF exercises. So if we hit F12 for the developer tools, we're gonna to come over here to the console and we're gonna see if we can inject this JavaScript payload into the DOM. Copy and paste this. We'll hit enter. And as you can see, the cross-site scripting attack goes off. All right, we can go ahead and stop that. And as you can see, that's just a cross-site scripting attack injected into the DOM and it's manipulating it on our browser. Now let's curl a website that isn't vulnerable and has a CSP in place. And as you can see that these headers are a lot more robust than what we're looking at before with Troy Hunt's website. So here they have a actual content security policy in place. All right, guys, so let's take a closer look at the content security policy shown on army.mil. So you're gonna see a lot of default source self. You're gonna see a lot of script source self, a lot of frame source self, font source self, image source self and what that means is so the website admin wants all content to come from the site's own origin so any content coming out of a different origin is going to be blocked now what cross-site protection one block mode means is that it's telling your web browser to rather than sanitize the page the browser will prevent any type of rendering of the page if an attack is detected. So on top of your content security policy, they also have a cross-site scripting protection policy for the browser. So if we go over to the developer.mozilla.org and we go to CSP, this will tell you exactly what the content security policy does what it is and all the examples in here, as you can see that the content security policy default source itself gives you all these examples, how the content security policy works and how it blocks cross-site scripting attacks. So come over here to the console tab 
take a look at what's being violated, do a curl, see if there's even a CSP in place or see if there's a cross-site scripting protection in place. For example, if we go back to Troy Hunts, you can see that there is no cross-site scripting protection and there is no CSP in place. And that is due by default because this is a vulnerable website for you to test cross-site scripting attacks. However, army.mil is not a vulnerable website. Now you can think of the content security policy as a whitelist of items that the web admin wants to allow to run on their site, as well as if they're utilizing the cross-site scripting mode for your browser. So with that guys, before you go out and jump on a scope, check the headers, see what type of information is, is in there. If they have a content security policy, see if they're blocking images, see if they're allowing images, see if they're blocking scripts from running. That will help you in planning your entry point for cross-site scripting if it's possible. This is just a quick comparison of a vulnerable site compared to a not vulnerable site and what to look out for. So again, the vulnerable site doesn't have a content security policy in place. It doesn't block cross-site scripting. As you can see, the browser is set to zero. The not vulnerable site, it has a content security policy. It's only allowing images from itself and from these locations. And it's only allowing scripts to be ran from the page that it's hosting from. And with that guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you out there on the hunt.